What's up guys, Warlock here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having an awesome day. Today I have another Apex Legends video for you. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to hit fire and why you should be doing it to win more gunfights in Apex. Let's do it. If you're new here and you wanna learn how to improve your gameplay, get better aim and other Apex Legends tips, then start now by subscribing and clicking that bell so you guys don't miss out on anything. All right guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over something that I think that is overlooked or not really shown a lot in Apex Legends and that more players should do so you guys win more gunfights and that's hip firing. Okay, I did make a guide previous on this. If you guys want to check this out, it breaks down a whole clip of how to hip fire and you know how it's used in close range combat. But I'm going to go over the basics of how to hip fire and I want you guys to apply this in your gameplay. So let's get started. The first thing is, is that when people are hip firing, they think because they're close up, it's going to be better to ADS while you're moving okay to take down a target but that's not always the case okay a lot of the times you're just going to be better and more accurate while you're hip firing and, and swaying ducking and crouching and all that stuff in a close range gunfight anything like probably from here up you could hip fire because hip fire in apex legends if you guys don't know is extremely accurate look at that hip fire and like i almost killed him just hip firing right so what you're going to do is a lot of people think well adsing you can be more accurate but that's not true. So when you're ADSing, even though I'm swinging and doing all this, yes, the movement is going to make you harder to hit. But one thing I want to point out is look how slow I'm moving left to right if I'm keeping my crosshair on the enemy, right? Now, if I'm now, look how much faster I'm moving as long as I'm not ADSing. So if I can move faster while doing all this, but maintain the same accuracy then it's going to be more beneficial to you to hit fire. So, for example, I can still sway, right? You know, I can still sway and almost one-clip this guy because I'm really bad. But, you know, if I do this, right, like, I can sway and just move, and it's fine. A lot of the times, you're still going to be able to take down players doing that, but you're going to take a lot of damage. But if you hit fire, right, I can continuously move really fast just hit firing, okay? And then I can be in and out. It makes you a lot harder target to hit when you're moving so fast because players' initial thought when they're close range like this is to ADS, okay? Especially with a lot of, like, the heavy barrel guns, like the Spitfires and stuff like that, or even the Wingman. A lot of players will just, you know, ADS with that, and that's not the case. You should hip fire, okay? Hip firing close range is extremely accurate. Extremely accurate. Look how, look how I'm taking this guy down just by hip firing and it's just perfect shots now one thing i do want to add is that when you're crouching crouching not only with your movements guys is going to make you a lot harder to hit but your accuracy is almost 100 percent while you're crouching okay 100 percent. even though i i have recoil on this r99 which is a lot right it's it's a hundred percent accurate like as long as you got your crosshairs on there and you don't like throw your sticks around like i just did you're gonna hit 100% of the time when you're hip firing so you'll see a lot of players movement they'll do this and they'll just rotate around and do this the same thing while they're hip firing and that makes you extremely accurate and harder to hit right but if I just duck and I hip fire a lot of players struggle to take the crosshairs and go down to shoot you when you're crouching and then if you're swaying left to right even this little bit amount should be enough for you to take down the enemy without them hurting you right now, one other thing that you can do is you can slide into an enemy, right? Applies the same logic, right? You still, even though you're sliding and moving, you still have the crouch hit fire accuracy, okay? You still have that same amount of, oh my God, punch him. There we go. You still have that same amount of accuracy when you're sliding in on somebody. So you'll see a lot of players do this, especially if they're coming in late to a gunfight. What they'll do is, is they'll come in. And they'll just slide jump around a corner or right into the fight. So they'll jump slide into... Oops, I hit the corner there. They'll jump slide into a fight, right? Come around the corner or something and just hit fire somebody. Or if they're around the corner, like if we're fighting this dummy, they'll come around the corner and just do this and kind of just slide and you'll just hit fire. Or if they're sliding down on somebody, let's grab some more ammo real quick, guys. Now, I do want to grab the wingman because I want to showcase how accurate the gun is. Even though you have, you know, this gun is, is a high skill gun and you're going to need a lot of accuracy with it. But even the hip firing on the 
on this gun is an extremely powerful but so what you'll see is like they'll come in you can come around the corner and players will just slide jump in right slide jump in and just hit fire it applies the same logic now with the with the wingman see i'm just lasering hip firing okay lasering this is extremely accurate now if i'm crouched right headshot headshot it's almost a laser beam as long as you're, you're you have them centered on your crosshair you're gonna hit you're gonna hit you know you're you're going to destroy them and you'll see a lot of wingman players do that because the wingman you're going to be doing a lot of this when you're shooting up close because of how fast players move but instead just hit fire just hit fire look at that just hit fire so you're going to be extremely accurate while you're hit firing in close range gunfights and i encourage all you guys to do this more often all right guys one last thing that you could do with hip firing is i want you to practice slide hip firing into a fight okay you can use this drill i've used this drill in a lot of my movement videos but do the same thing come in slide and just hip fire right and then just keep going this is a good drill to get you to learn how to hip fire while sliding right try to end on your slide if you can just pick up and just keep going just try to do as much damage as you can while sliding right into the end of your slide and try to finish off every player that you slide into right the next drill that I want you to do is to practice just hit firing straight ahead right practice hit firing straight ahead hit all your shots okay do that from the short and the medium range right right about here right in the center of these platforms and just line up your crosshair and just hit hit fire okay just hit fire you can use any guns I advise just using the guns that you normally use right whatever guns you're comfortable with do both of those up close and then medium range and then the last drill that I want you guys to do is swaying back and forth try to keep a crosshair on here this is good for tracking but then incorporate just hip fire okay just practice this just keep going back and forth make sure you try to hit all your shots or just one clip the player you know try to get some headshots in there grab the nine again grab ammo do the same thing just try to incorporate that the next thing I want you to do is practice just standing still, ducking, and hip firing. Ducking and hip firing. Just on the target from close and medium range. Right? Close and medium range. And just see if you can one clip those guys. Close and medium range. Okay? And just get used to this. Get used to doing this from close range. And then go back and get used to doing it from medium range. Now, anything outside of that, of course, you could hit fire from this far away. It is a bit of a laser depending on the gun and the recoil that the guns have. Uh, I know on PC that you're going to be much more accurate even hip firing from this distance. But on console, it's going to be a little bit harder. But again, back to the drill. You want to just incorporate this from medium and close range. Okay. Now, the last drill that I want you to do is to incorporate everything all at once. You're going to be swaying back and forth. And you're going to be hip firing. And then you're going to be incorporating the duck. Now, what you can do is to start off really slow. Just go left and right. And then duck, unduck, duck, unduck, duck, unduck, duck, unduck. And then you're just going to hip fire after that. So it's going to look like something like this. And you're just going to go back and forth. You don't have to do it super fast, right? But just to get the movements down, right? You want to be able to just to go back and forth. And then just get used to moving your gun accordingly, okay? Now, when you're doing this and you crouch, you want to pull your gun up. But then when you come back up, you got to pull down and get all those shots in there. Okay. The idea here is to do as much damage close range as possible. Because if I do this and then I got to switch guns, then they're one shot, right? So incorporate everything. Go left and right, crouch, back and forth. And then once you complete all the drills about five to ten times each, spend a good amount of time here in the training, in the firing range, just to kind of get these, these down right and then you can incorporate it all just kind of move around slot in and hit fire you know just keep trying and keep practicing these drills and they're going to help you out especially in the close range gunfights you're going to win a lot more gunfights 
incorporating hip fire into your arsenal. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really do hope that it helps you out and helps you with your gun game and your gun skill in Apex Legends. And I hope that it'll help you win a lot more gunfights, especially close range. If you're a player that has been struggling with close range gunfights, definitely come in here, get your practice in and incorporate it every single time. Every time you slide in close, just get, just go straight hip fire. Now, if you feel like you've hip fired enough and you can tell based on their movements that you're gonna be able to ADS, ADS and then come back out of ADS and try it again. But I hope that this video does help you out, guys. If you did enjoy it and want to see more tutorials like this, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell, guys, so you don't miss out on other tips videos just like this one. As for me, Warlug, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.